Hi, this is Matt from Smart Online Tutoring again, and I want to show you another great feature that you can use with Zoom and Screen Share. So here I am, I've opened up a Zoom meeting, and I have the option at the bottom here to share my screen. If I click this button, you can see next to the desktop, there's an option called Whiteboard. So if I click this one and click Share Screen, my screen now becomes a whiteboard. This is interactive so I can um, either make it bigger or smaller and here you can see the various options for using the whiteboard. So just like the annotations you can draw on your board um, by clicking the draw button and you can draw like this. Um, you also have the option to add text as before so you can add text like this. Um, if you want to change the size or the formatting, just click here. Um, the color you can change the size, for example, um, bold, italic, etc. So you can then create uh, any number of text boxes on your screen. Um, if you want to move this around as before, you can um, move it up like this you can um, erase things, all sorts of features that you can use uh, to annotate your, your whiteboard. So this is a great feature if you want to demonstrate things to your students online. You can even make it full screen if you wish, therefore you have lots of space um, to teach your students. Um, a great feature as well is when you've uh, finished drawing all the things that you want to do um, you can also save the whiteboard so if you click this button here that's now made a copy of the whiteboard um, which will uh, be saved to your computer um, which means that all of the great information that you've taught your students uh, can then be uh, included in the email later on um, and sent to the student for future practice and revision. So there we go, that's the whiteboard feature there. Um, as before, you can always stop sharing the screen uh, by clicking here. You can even pause the share um, so the student will not be able to see your screen during the pause. Um, and you can resume again just by clicking this button here. As soon as you click uh, stop share, um, the screen returns back to uh, the Zoom and the student cannot see your screen anymore. So there we go, that's the whiteboard function using Zoom screen share.